go to polygon mode, mesh edit, loop slice, count of symmetry, count two, mode symmetry. Let's click and let's put them up towards the edge, probably about 1%. Now I'm going to select up through here and do the same thing. Now when we go into sub D mode, you can see our shape is holding there. Let's go back out to polygon mode and let's adjust this into position. R key to scale it so we can adjust the size. And we want it to be even. So we'll take it back a little bit like this. Maybe scale our steps a little more. Make it a little wider. Okay. That's looking pretty good there. Looks like we got our first step laid in. So all we have to do now, I'm going to use the simple way, Command-C, Command-V-W. Instead of using any of the clone tools and anything like that, I'm going to keep you all straightforward and simple. Okay. So now we have our second step laid in there. So now, let's select, Shift-Select both of them, Command-C, Command-V, and W to move. This time we'll get two. And we can position these into place. Now I'm just eyeballing this, nothing accurate, you know, I mean, at least not highly accurate. Okay, that's looking pretty, pretty good. It needs to come down a little, I think. Okay. I think this one may need to come up a tear, a tad, back. Okay. Now we have our four steps laid in. So what we can do now is the same as before. We'll select all four of them. Command C, Command V, and W. And we'll just paste all four of them. Okay, it's looking pretty good. All right, now we've got our steps moving on up there. So let's do our last deal here. Let's select this one, this one, this one, this one. We'll do about five. Command C, Command V, then W, our little trick that we got there that I like to use so much. Let's see here. Okay, that's looking pretty decent. Okay. Now we have our stairs starting. Our next step, we're going to lay down our bracings, our handrails, and we're going to start working on our, our hood up top. Now, as you can see, this is very low poly, except for the bevels we've done around the edge loops on the stairs. All this is very low poly. Everything's in quads. As you can see, this this post here just makes up 12 quads and this is 12 quads. This here is like 10 quads. So it's a very, very low polygon model. So we're going to continue on in our next video and um, I hope to see you then. Thanks for watching guys. So let's go ahead and build our handrails up the side. So let's position to the side here. We can even go to our right view like this so we can see what's going on. As you can see, our post is a little uneven, and we can fix all this later. I'm going to bring it down a little bit just to make it a little more you know even and stuff symmetrical so okay now let's go ahead and build our handrails our handrails ain't gonna be as big as a bottom rail there 
So we'll make it about like that. And of course we need to thicken it out some. And bring it over here. And we'll stick this into place. I think it's a little big. But that's okay. We can we can adjust all this by selecting the scale and maybe scaling it down a little. Let's rotate this 30 degrees also, just like we did our stairs. So let's bring this up and over. Let's position this right into position here. But like we did the other one, we're going to want to go in here, hit the R key after we select our edges on the end, and we want to scale it towards flat like that. So now let's go back and select this and let's put it into position. Okay, looks like this needs to be brung out a little bit, so I'll select that polygon, hit the W key, make sure my action center is set to local. We'll pull it up like this. And if we wanted to, we could also shim this up. Let's make our action center automatic. And we'll scale it in the Z. There, now we have our first board, which down here is a little short, so let's do the same thing. Let's grab this in polygon, hit the W key, make sure our action center is on local. And let's bring that out a little bit. So, there, now we have our first handrail. So all we gotta do is double click it, Command C, Command V, W, and let's make sure our action center is automatic. And we'll bring this straight up. Like so. Now we can command C and command V that one. Bring another one straight up. Now we have our three handrails. Let's shift select all three of them. Do our command C, our command V trick again and hit W. And we'll pull these over. Spacebar, drop the tool. Okay. Now it looks like we got our stair steps coming along here, huh? So what we're going to want to do is make a platform for it to attach to, or this could be going into the side of a building. You know, if you wanted to, we could, um, for instance, make a piece of wood like a wall like this. and put a door right here oh, and an awning over top of the door and you have your stairs going into the side of your building but that's not what we're going to do we're just going to build a normal ground for it so we'll turn up like this right here let's go to our top view and let's go ahead and draw out a floor for this bad boy So, go back to perspective. Make the floor thick enough to uh, accommodate our stairs. I'm going to shrink it by selecting it and hitting the R key and bringing it down a little bit. Okay, now we need to bring it back up some. 